Well, guys, David Booth here. Well, we're um, going over to uh, backside <coughs> Loblolly Ranch. <laughs> and, uh, oh, buddy, it's spring. The red buds are out. The bark pears. White blossoms are everywhere. The dogwood trees and the But the grass is growing green and the little buds on the trees. It's so beautiful. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yep. I love it, love it, love it. always so we're not far from the turnoff and uh, I turned the camera on kind of take you guys in with me and also because <laughs> I don't want you to miss the the longhorn there oh my goodness they're so beautiful most beautiful longhorn cattle I've ever seen. At the front of the road that goes to my place, it's a little logging road or something, that goes through a ranch and the guy raises longhorn steer or cattle or whatever they are and he's got other some other cows there. There's a lot of cows. Big ranch. It's just the most beautiful cows I'll show you. And I guess a lot of people around here raise these longhorn uh, maybe in this area, that's something that people do a lot. Um, you know, Texas is where they they have a lot of cattle. The beef capital of the world is um, Hereford, Texas. <laughs> Hereford cattle. There's a little town. I think down the road about five miles from there called Bovine. <laughs> but we're in Oklahoma here and so there's a lot of trees and not as much, you know, cattle ranging or whatever. So that's not, you know, yes, people have cattle, but not necessarily, or they're not all being raised for food. Like I think these guys may raise the longhorn Partly, I don't know. I don't know what they, whether they eat them. I suppose they do. Uh, you know, Angus Bull. Maybe some particular restaurants pay high money for these cattle. But I think some of these are being raised to um, as breeders. You know, to, to breed. They're beautiful, though. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They look like marble. You know, swirly, marbly colors. All different colors. Well, I don't know exactly what we're going to do out here this uh, weekend or, or whatever. I'll be out here for a couple of days or more. I've got a tarp I want to try and get up. I, I lost my hatchet. I, I don't remember. I can't find it anywhere. And the last time I had it... Uh-oh, what's in the road? The last time I had it was when we went to go find that temple. And I, and I, went, I took it to, and built that fire. And I, I think I may have left it. So... I have a little axe, um, I have a, a handsaw, but I don't have an axe, so I may end up having to go back into town to buy a hatch. But I do want to cut down a few more poles for the teepee, get the tarps up, and uh, build a good uh, fire pit. I start getting that set up. At some point, whether it's this time or next, I'm going to be doing some plumbing, you might say. I want to make 
a shower out here where you can have hot water in the shower just by building a fire. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm going to use the creek. And that would be nice for those, you know, if people want to stay out here, they'll get a nice hot shower. Because, you know, you can shower or wash in the river in the summertime, but boy, howdy. <laughs> guy's got to have some heated water during the winter. Boy, look at that grass. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at it. It's green. Alright, here's where we're going to turn. This is the ranch. They've got horses. And they've got buffalo. And this is the ranch that's at the base of the road where you, where my property is. Okay. I don't know if the Longhorn are out running around today. They're usually right in here. This guy's got all kinds of neat things. There's some cows in there. Those cows have horns, but they're not the long horns like the ones he had out here. So I don't know where they are right now. I'm disappointed there's no big long horns out today. Here's the little calves. I think they look like happy cows. I mean, you know, I'm sad that, you know, it's not, not something I like to think about but we eat a lot of meat in this country. Um, I definitely do not approve of some of the farms and ranches that I have seen in New Mexico. A lot of the dairies there, inhumane treatment. It's not, not good at all, the slaughterhouses. I do not like Cargill, Monsanto, uh, Tyson Foods, all those companies. They're not good at all. Oh boy, is it beautiful. Well, maybe tonight we can build a fire and sit around the campfire and tell stories. I got some good stories I want to tell you. <laughs> yeah. I sure do. But I'm so disappointed because I got that hatchet at this thrift store. I've been looking for a really good hatchet. It was drop forged steel. It would, you know, I could sharpen and had the right feel and I went in there this little thrift store and they had that and it was like five dollars and I thought wow I sure got fortunate and then remember I was using it the other day and the handle came off and I had to wrap it with some leather string or whatever to make another handle some some uh, strap or something that I used well to lose that kind of disappoints me because now I've got to go out and find another one because that wasn't a cheap one, you know. It, it was probably a $30, $40 axe. And it was older one, you know. They don't make them like that anymore. I'll go back in there and see if I can see if that old boy's got another one next time I get into town.
We got a creek going across the road here. Isn't that nice? <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> we just drive right through the creek. Culverts, what's that? <laughs> and there's a culvert right there. Somebody put in. This is the property that a friend of mine, I bought my property from, owns a bunch of this property. He said he was gonna get another 160 acres and they're gonna be selling it. And usually he sells it into 10, 20, 30 acre pieces. Um, so he'd probably sell 16, 10 acre pieces or eight, 20 acre pieces, I don't know. Um, it's reasonable and you just put a small down payment you know I think he charges pretty good interest but not you know overwhelmingly so he doesn't charge that much I guess he could charge more I just love this beautiful, beautiful place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys ever heard of uh, Gary Puckett? I wonder how many of you out there have ever heard of him. Look him up on the internet. During the 60s, there was a band called Union Gap. And they do some songs that are classics. It's funny, I had loved those songs for years and heard them you know, over and over again during the 60s and 70s. And, Never knew that guy's name or the name of that band, Union Gap. Never heard of it. They outsold the Beatles in 1969. And, uh, boy, the guy, uh, Gary Bucket, he has the best voice you've ever heard. If you know what Tom Jones sounds like, he sounds a little bit like that. And I don't know who's better at singing, but they're both really good singers. But, man, look that band up. That's, you know, one of my favorite bands of the 60s. Here we are.
put this thing in the four wheel. That wasn't good. Oh, that's not good. That's why I don't like driving in here until I get those stumps out of the way. Okay. Well, there's mm, camp on top. This is the top camp. I want to get this thing down to the bottom, but we're going to probably walk. $2 steak ought to taste pretty good. What do you hear? Mama thinks she hears something. About every three seconds. Well, guys, did you hear that Mike Lindell, you know, the guy that does the my pillow, he's, I guess, yesterday or something like that, or day before, he says, that Donald Trump will be president in the month of August. He'll be back. And it stunned a lot of people. Circling. And they keep pulling, the, you know, banning it and all this stuff. But that's yeah, going around and everybody's talking about it. Because, you know, it'd be hard to imagine that the man would want to put up his reputation for some goony prank or whatever because that's what would happen August will co go by and if it's not true then people are going to hold him accountable <clears throat> but then there are some other sources that are saying
that. The military is right now battling all around uh, the world. I guess if you can look, I guess you can go look this up on the internet. That there are three times the amount of movement in the military with the United States military. We're involved in way more things right now than, you know, than the month before. And this is unprecedented. There's something going on. It's like a war going on. People are hearing explosions. People are seeing what looks like missiles coming down out of the sky and then big explosions and nobody knows what's going on. So, I don't know the source of this statement, but some of these people that are telling us this stuff, they're saying that the military will be finished with their exercise sometime end of August. And then Trump will be president again. <laughs> Licking me, huh? huh? Hi, honey. Two of them. Hi. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, well, one just jumped right up in the lap. Oh. Well, that's fine. Come on up. <laughs> You're not both coming up here, are you? I don't think we got room for two. Yeah, your daughter's bigger than you are. Oh, you're going to fall off. Get your She <laughs> hmm. just can't get comfortable. So I don't know, August, maybe, maybe not. We don't know what's gonna happen. It makes sense though. So this is Sunday when I'm making this video. Yesterday was the beginning of Passover. And so we've got seven days from Passover to, to the other Passover, which um, this year comes on a Passover. So it would be a high Passover. And they also, and then that would, at the end of that seven days of eating unleavened bread, they did that for seven days after Passover. But then they counted 49 days. And then the penta or the 550. On the 50th day was the harvest. The, 
and, and you had this great celebration because you got the blessings, all the bounty of your life. And they had dances. And it was like summer fires. You know, like, like the Yule log. It was the days of glory. Because you had been able to work and endure the, the work. And now you were about to partake of the bounty. And that was what made it so good. Not that it was the best time of the year for the temperature. Or it was the best time of the year for the way, you know, the climate was. But no, it was the time of the year when you bring in the harvest. And that is when you rejoice. When you have the fruit of your labor. You don't, you're not going to rejoice when you're planting. You're going to rejoice when you harvest it. And this is the rejoicing of the saints. Beautiful color. A little red light on my phone. Beeping her. I may lose you guys here. I really don't know. Why it's a blinking. But if you lose me, it's because of that. <laughs> well, it's not like we're live or anything. Now I'm all sitting here. When's it gonna when's it gonna go? <laughs> oh. Well. Maybe I should just check or something. <laughs> uh, no <laughs> nothing's wrong it's just I guess it always has that red light when it charges hmm. <laughs> uh, or it doesn't charge it's not charging Well, I didn't have much time today. Um, I didn't get here early enough to get anything done. But I sure did enjoy this day. And I'm very much enjoying this evening. But tomorrow, I've got the tarp that we were going to put on the teepee. But like I said before, earlier in the tape, I think I lost the hatchet. So all I have is a couple of saws. I got a bow saw. I can do that, but I really wanted that hatchet. So I may have to run back to town tomorrow go into a hardware store or something. Uh, we'll 
We'll greet that problem when we get it. Yeah, so they're saying this military operation was planned for four months and it'll be over in August. And with what Mike Lindell said, the My Pillow guy, that sounds like an actual, you know, what would you say? It's not rumor. It's a fact, because I saw Mike Lindell say it. He said Trump will be president in August. Now, okay, possible that he is an idiot to make something like that up. You know, that's idiotcy. That will ruin his reputation. He He won't just have all the left hating him, but all the right would hate him. He's not going to do that. He's not a lion type of person. So that's big news. That's pretty big news that, you know, it's not the same as it actually being true, but it's something to have someone say something like that and to have it corroborated by other evidence. Like, the uptick in the military right now. Like, the fact that uh, Harris still has not moved into her little, oh, uh, I guess the vice president's estate or whatever. He's got this, <coughs> excuse me, he's got this 80-acre estate or something that looks like a little, White House or whatever, but it's got a big pool and everything. It's really nice. And Harris is living out of her suitcase. Really? It's been how long now? And, and she's saying, yeah, well, they're trying to do renovations. So they're still living in their suitcase. They're just happen, you know, doing, yeah, Biden is a clone. There is some pictures going around. I've shown one clip before in another video, but there's a couple of others that are really spooky. It might be that Harris is wearing a mask. We do not know who or what is going on. There's a lot of stuff like that that if I, if I said more, most of you wouldn't even believe me. Enough said, because some of you have already heard this stuff before. But, you know, all of this stuff that you heard is being confirmed from several sources, reliable sources. I take Mike Lindell to be a very reliable source. You hear that? Hmm. I didn't either. 
I didn't either. Just a lot of peace. A lonesome wolf in the back. It's okay, Mama. It's just beautiful silence. Nothing to be scared of. But, <clears throat> what if what we're about, what we're saying now, what if somebody up there in high level saw that Mike Lindell would do anything for the president? And what if they had called him and planted that in his mind or told him that that was true? And he somehow, because he's not a politician or anything, he wouldn't know these kinds of things. He's a businessman. You know, he's not a lawyer, I don't suppose. So he might not have known or could have believed that somebody would entrap him or ensnare him. But perhaps, I'm just saying. What if they planted that information in his head? They wanted him to say that. They want people to look for Trump to become president again. And then, and, and, and then remember what we talked about with clones. They put Trump's clone in there. And they can have Trump's clone tell us 
to stand on our toes and whistle through our noses. And everybody will do it much, much happier than if it was Comrade Biden. So. Then why wouldn't the real Trump stand up and tell the world, no, no, that's not me. That's not me. I said, well, not. If he's a good person, he'd give his life if he had to save the world. What if they told him that if he said, hey, that's not me, that they'll begin dropping nuclear missiles on, town, on cities, one each day. Until he gets the point and doesn't ever, ever do that again. And so you say, well, if he's got Jesus on his side, why don't Jesus do something? It's not the appointed time. This whole thing is going to get the lid blown off of it. This whole thing is going to have the lid blown right off of it. And the veil shall be rent. You'll see the altar in heaven and those that worship therein. But as for the courtyard, it is without the temple. Cast it clear out. Beyond, for it's, it's given to the nations and they'll trample the holy city. For times, times, and a half a time. And the man of sin shall arise. And the false prophet shall do signs and wonders before him. And shall even bring fire down out of the sky from heaven to the earth. And they said, look, Come worship the beast, because who can do what we do? We're so mighty and strong. But there was another little thing over here. It was Elijah. Boy, Elijah started praying, and fire came down out of the sky. And not only did it come down, but it ate up their religion, ate up their prophets. Destroyed him. Kind of like Moses throwing down his staff and became a bigger snake and ate up their snake. There will be a battle, a duel between us and them. Who's us and who's them? Well, we're us and they're them. <laughs> who's them? Oh, we're at the changing of the guard. We're the new rulers. And we need to be strong, courageous. We 
And you're never going to know. You're never going to have this. The faith. The strong enough faith. Without gnosis. Without growing and learning and being more and more aware of who you are inside. Self-awareness. that was coming. <laughs> oh, the dogs are making a lot of the racket. <laughs> They're way over there. I can hear them running around through the leaves. <laughs> Middle of night. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. The wolves are coming, circling around us. jumped up because I thought I heard hogs coming again. <laughs> I guess I got hogs on my mind. Okay. Just wolves. <laughs> Everything's fine. We're not going to be killed by hogs. Just wolves. <laughs> Out of out of fire now. <laughs> Probably better put some wood on that and shut this down and hit the sack. You guys have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>